Hey everyone, it's Ashley here, and I am here to do the other reading for September, or the other energy update. So let's see what is happening for the last week of September. watch my videos a lot of you know how I feel about this card so that's really good okay cool we have the ace of Gabriel there so that's another great card a lot of good energy coming in, which I felt that when we did the last reading. There was some stuff we needed to deal with. And then we're jumping on the ride. Huh. I wonder if this card came up for the last reading. I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly the cards that come up. Um... But one of the things that I was getting before I did the video was that, uh, you know, we're moving into, you know, well, we're in September, but the energy that's coming in is going to be faster paced. It's going to be going really quick. And what my, my guides kind of explained it as is like going on a roller coaster. So it's kind of like, you know, <clears throat> you're waiting to go to this like theme park or whatever and, um... You know, you save up the money to go, you get the day out of work, you plan a day, you get your friends together, you go to the theme park, and then when you get there, you're kind of just like, oh shit, I don't know if I want to go on this ride, I don't know if I can handle this ride. So this is kind of how they're explaining the energy that's coming in. It's like, are you going to jump in or are you going to back off? Are you going to, like, this is something that you've been planning for, but when you get there, you're kind of like, oh, I don't know if I can do that. And then it's not about dipping your toe in it. It's about jumping in, strapping yourself in, and getting ready for the ride. So that's a lot of the energy that I've been feeling. It's going to be very uncomfortable, but it's going to be very exciting and worth it, which is definitely what the sun card is showing here. So definitely a lot of excitement, definitely a lot of breakthroughs this coming week. Um, you know, the autumn equinox is showing that the energy is definitely shifting. A lot of people have been sick lately. I've had like an awful cold. You can probably hear it um, in my voice. Um, it was just like something that like just came in and like really kicked my ass for a couple days where I couldn't even get out of bed and a lot of times that's that's upgrade that's energy upgrades it's your body getting ready it's your body releasing stuff even you know I noticed that my hair was falling out a little bit and I know my body that when that happens it's me just shedding and letting go and that's a lot that's it's, it's preparing for the intensity that's coming in so it's really very exciting actually I gotta tell I'm going through the tarot day by day and this is funny too because huh these two cards kind of connect so this is the card that I'm actually on today which to me the six of swords always means moving away from something it's um a lot of times to me I associate it with a moving card whether it, you're moving from home, you're moving to a new job, or you're just energetically moving to a new state. It's also like getting your mind together so you can do those things. One of the things I am going to do, though, before I go to the next card is I'm going to pull one of my... These are my Ascension Blessing cards, and you can buy them in a pack. And um, you can give them out during your readings. So I had these specially made. They're really cool cards. And you can put your name on the back. Like you can put a little sticker with your name on them. So we're going to have these on the website. But I'm going to pull one of these today. So. 
had a great artist that worked on them. Did a really good job. Okay. Let's see, what card are we getting for this reading? Wow. Okay. So here we have our beautiful Mother Mary. And the card here is all about self-love. So another thing that I was getting before, you know, I pulled a lot of cards is, is this week is going to be a lot about what you want and fulfilling your needs. So it's not really focusing on others too much. It's, um... You know, it's letting go of almost like the envious attitudes that you, like, this is what we're beginning to let go of. Like, why can't I have what this person has and how come this person has this? This card right here with Mother Mary really associates the feelings that I've been feeling lately of like, fuck that, I don't want that. Like, that's not for me. You know, so we're really coming into a lot of that energy like this is me. The self-love energy that's coming in is like taking care of yourself. That's why a lot of people are getting sick. It's like taking care of yourself, doing what you need to do for you. Um, allowing yourself to be happy with you, even if you're in a shithole right now, being happy with the shithole and being like, this is where I'm supposed to be right now, you know. Because we've been doing, like, a lot of the energy in the past couple of months has been a lot of self-loathing and the why me and the why is this happening and shit storms everywhere. So now we're kind of just like, fuck it. Need to go where we need to go. So right here, we have an ace card. So anytime an ace card comes in, in a reading, it's always a new door opening. That's what I associate it with. It's always a very exciting time as well. And this card to me is always adventure. That's what I see. So it's Ace of Gabriel, Gabriel, Archangel Gabriel, Gabriel, whatever you connect it with. But anytime that this card comes up with a reading with a client or anyone that I'm reading, it's always like, a, okay, a travel kind of exploration thing going on. Exploring your options, exploring where you want to go. Um, exploring your new mindset. So you're jumping in that ride. You're going, oh my God. That's another thing too. Now that like I'm holding this card, I'm getting like flashes of yesterday. So yesterday I was watching the um, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, the first Bill and Ted. So I'm 33 years old. So I grew up in the 80s and 90s. Like so like that movie. If you haven't seen it, it's really like a stupid 80s movie. But that's what this card reminds me of with the roller coaster ride too. Is like getting in. They get in the elevator. Like some guy comes from the future and and is like helping them with their history report. And they're getting in this. Um, not it's not an elevator. It's actually like an old phone booth. And they're like traveling through time. And they're picking up like all these. Um, prominent people in history like Socrates and Abraham Lincoln to help them with their history report and they don't know who that guy is from the future and they're just kind of like going in the in the phone booth and you know they're trusting in their adventure and it seems like kind of like a scary thing but it's uh, even while I was watching the movie I was like gee would I do that if that ever happened like just thinking stupidly so that's kind of like the energy coming in is you know just going with the flow, even if it does seem kind of ridiculous or it seems scary, it's um, moving with that. It's exploring. It's meeting new people, too. That was the other thing they didn't. Obviously, you know, they met people that only history can tell them stories about. But do you want to read about other people's... Do you want to read and watch other people exploring and you know, going on adventures, or do you want to create that yourself, is I kind of feel like what this card is saying here. So again, we go back to the envy thing that I'm connecting with the Mother Mary card just for this reading, is like letting go of that envy and creating your own adventure in your life. This is what is coming in. So these two cards, so like I said, I'm on the, the Six of Swords today. So 
sometimes this card can be gloomy and it's it's definitely a little gloomy outside right now too it's uh it's kind of like we're getting a little taste of winter to come um but some people associate this as set with sadness i don't really associate it with that energy i associate it more with damn i'm just gonna move on you know i just gotta go i gotta get out of here this isn't good for me anymore like this is so like those old mindsets like we cleared a lot of that karmic energy the last few months like those old mindsets that don't serve you anymore of like oh well i you know I'm, I'm poor because in other lifetimes I was a this or that, or I'm poor because that's what I've seen my whole lifetime growing up, or, you know, the struggles within the family, you're letting go of that. If you're on your spiritual journey, you need to stop using those words. You need to stop manifesting that. So this is what it is, too. It's walking away from that energy that we dealt with for the last few months, and we're choosing this. We're choosing to have the breakthroughs. Because if we don't choose this, we're going to stay in this. Alright. So you know what? I'm going to pick one more of these cards. My cards here. Let's see who we get. Cool. So this is our... Archangel Michael here and he's talking about boundaries right here and that was I got the, I pulled that card uh, the other day obsidian was one of my cards is boundaries saying no saying no to say yes for you so there's definitely gonna be certain things this week that you're going to have to walk away from or say no to because it's not good for you. It's not good for you. It's not something that you're feeling connected to. You don't have to do what you don't want to do. And that's pretty much it. Saying no. Saying no to say yes to yourself. We'll pull one more of these cards. And then we will, in the next week, I will have another reading up for the energies that are coming in for October. But for now, we're just finishing off September. There you go. So once you say no, you'll see a lot more opportunity. You'll feel a lot lighter. You'll feel a lot more free. It's definitely going to stand in your ground this week. But it's not like a, a hard thing that you're going to have to do. It's just kind of like, a, no, I'm not doing that. And that's not what I feel is right for me. That's not where I feel I should be going with this. Being more confident with you. Being more confident with who you are. So not comparing yourself to like what the other person is doing. Comparing to what you're doing right now. So somebody said to me the other the other day, you have a lot of people in your head constantly because I own a business and, you know, people are always giving me input and it's kind of like, I got to get these people out of my my way and out of my head and do what's best for me. I can't be comparing myself to other businesses. I can't be comparing myself to other people. I have to do what's right for Ashley and Ascension NXT and that's it. So we're going to leave off here. I hope that you all have a wonderful end of September. Happy full moon as well. And ascensionnxt.com if you'd like to book a one-on-one -on -one Skype or one-on-one -on -one healing. Also check out our web store too. Our blessing cards will be up soon. And don't forget, if you're on the East Coast and in the Rhode Island, Massachusetts area, we are doing our awesome Crystal Ball, October 26th. We're going, it's going to be food, drink, that's included in the ticket with the DJ. We're going to have a costume contest, lots of things going on. We're going to be raising money for charity. Uh, so I definitely, I will see a lot of you East Coast people there. And to anyone else that's watching remotely, thank you very much. And...